One Lap is a crazy adventure with three guys going around Lake Michigan, 1,200 mile journey, eight days on scooters. We rode Lance Cali Classic 50s. It's a 50cc variant of the Lance Cali Classic. I mean, we were getting a lot of looks along the trip because there's such really eye-catching design. A real hardy bike. Uh, it's got a great engine, and we were confident that that was going to be important for the ride. But uh, still only 50 cc's. Well, we rode on uh, mostly back roads. Uh, we tried to stay away from as much traffic as humanly possible, but obviously that was impossible. Holy shit, there's so many of them. But we did try to find the uh, motorcycle routes. We did go through some interesting areas. One that I remember in particular is Gary, Indiana. That was fun, awesome. Day one started like almost every day did with the expectation that we were gonna get up, get to it and take off. Unfortunately, we had some camera issues and we were working out a lot of those type of things. And we were trying to get all that stuff working the morning that we took off. And that was not as seamless as a process as it could have been. So we wound up leaving day one about two hours late and being one of the longest legs on the trip, it definitely put us behind. So we, we finally got things worked out with the camera equipment got on our scooters and rode as hard as we could to our first destination, which was South Haven. So we, uh, we made our way back roads from Grand Haven to South Haven. Uh, it seemed like a not so bad a trip. I mean, I don't, I don't recall it being that long. Then we went downtown and got some snacks and then we uh, went down to the beach and set up the drone and got some beautiful shots of Lake Michigan and the weather was perfect. It was nice and hot that day and um, it was very nice. We went from uh, South Haven down through uh, Gary, Indiana, it started raining. It wasn't really a bad rain, but when you're on two wheels, it sure does feel like it's a lot heavier than it really is. Previous year, I had had a crash and broke my collarbone. We got Mike in the car. We think he broke his collarbone. Mike says he feels it moving around. The fire department's here now. We're gonna get this taken care of. Luckily, before I went on the trip, I did quite a bit of riding. I was able to get my confidence back, but it was still something that was in the back of my mind. We it into Gary. We uh, sat around for a little bit, waited for it to pass. The skies opened up, and then we kind of were looking at, you know, where's the weather? How's it going to affect us? And so we're getting this rain come through, and we need to go to there where it's purple. And I don't know if purple's better, but I doubt that it is. I don't think so. So I'm hoping that it passes through. Hopefully it's going that way. Yeah, I think it is. So we got on our scooters, made our final shot into Chicago. Once we got back on the road, everything was great. Covering over 160 miles from Grand Haven to Gary, we had less than 50 miles to make it to our first overnight destination, Chicago. As we were getting close to Chicago, I could see the skyline and the horizon. I was so stoked to be in Chicago. It was my first time there and I was so impressed with everything I was seeing. Day one was pretty much over, but there was one little surprise just before the end. 
I was petrified to ride on bar grading, reminding me of that same slippery feeling that I had just before my crash the previous year. I can't believe we made it. We covered 200 miles on a scooter.